I started in the 80s as a student to collect anything that was translucent, white, grey and nothing printed on it and it will stop with my death. Innocent collection was on one side clearly influenced by the Fluxus art history, in particular Richard Hamilton's White Album cover for the Beatles, but also I used it to clear my mind. When I watched that these beautiful objects in their purity, in their modesty, it really watered my synapses and I was not anymore a slave of consumerism. Most of them are containers who divide liquid from another form and it reminds me also of all our vessels that are there to contain the different fluids from the other fluid. So it's also a, a, a portrait of any organic living form. In particular, I like that they keep something together, that it stays clean, and in the same moment we, we spill the dirt out in the world. So this contradiction we encounter so often in our lives. I cannot imagine anything more beautiful than this. Or even here is the toilet. The, for the toilet paper, the rest. If you have any question, you look through it and there is the answer on the other side. And if, if life is too much, you just put that on top. Plastic, but also fabric translucent plastic, toothbrush, styrofoam, nets. Beautiful, isn't it? I hope that with this wall we, we, we can encourage uh, a thankfulness towards the ephemera, towards the thing that go come in and out and that we can see that these are instant diamonds. <laughs>